when we work in the data science area, it's very common. We have to import data from one data source to another one. Here in this example, you can see one CSV file with several data about cars. And this data was imported to a MySQL database. So it comes from one known structured database or file and then was loaded in one structured model. During the process, some transformations were performed. Eight boots that were not important to the specific situation were ignored. If you want to see how to do that using Node.js programming language, so let's do that now. Hello everyone, my name is Rafael and I'm going to guide you through the execution of this study case. The tools you have to have available to execute this procedure is one Visual Studio IDE, one MySQL database, and of course, Node.js installed. Having these wor working tools available, you are ready to follow the procedure. And remember, the code is also available in GitHub, so you can plunge from there and try to execute in your own computer. So let's start it. Now let's start. First, you need to ensure your database is created and empty. For creating the same database as I am presenting now, you just have to execute this schema here, this SQL code to create this schema, and it's available together with the application code. Okay, so just one simple table with five columns and no data, right. Then we have also the CSV file, okay, with the data set we are going to import that to the database. The CSV file we are going to utilize is also available inside the source code. You can take that from GitHub as well, cloning this project. Okay, and then we have the source code. Just one file, okay, just this index.js file that is going to do the whole process. And you need, of course, to install a few dependencies. The dependencies are here defined in the package JSON. Okay, you may be able to see the three dependencies we have here. So basically, just have to do one npm install and download all these dependencies. But if you want to do that by hand, you can also install individually each of these three dependencies. One to connect in MySQL, another to use the SQLize by hand framework, and another one to use the file system from your local computer. Now, return to the code. Here, then, we import the dependence. We have the credentials to connect in the MySQL database, and we are going to use SQLize as the ORM framework to map objects from this class defined in Node.js programming language with this table in the database. So this class here is going to be mapped to this table here. Right, once you have done that, the procedure is not so difficult. We are going to read the file car.js, assuming our source code is in the same directory as the file. We read the file, the whole content. Then we have to split that by line. Once it's a CSV file, it has the content separated by line. We ignore the two first lines because two first lines are not important to us. The first one is the column names, and the second one is the data type. So the data itself starts from the third column and on. For this purpose, we just ignore the two first lines. Right, so we have one empty array for cars, that the cars are going to import. Here is just to have sure the table is empty. We are going to truncate the table in case it has previous data. And then now for each of the lines we have in the, in the CSV file, we are going to prepare one object with the data we want. And here we are going to ignore columns that are not important to us. We want to know just the model of the car. The horsepower is also important to us. 
the acceleration is important to us and the origin is also important to us. All the other columns is going to be ignored because we're not going to use them here. They were ever not mapped here in the database as well. But one very interesting thing we do in this example is that the whole import process, this role content here is going to be important in one single transaction, what it means. Or the whole lines are important or none line is important because we need to have sure the entirely success of the operation. And how we do that? We are not going to insert line per line. We are going to set all the objects here in this array. And then we are going to use the book create. What the book create do? It generates insert statements for each object, but all together in one single transaction. So, or all these entries here are going to be inserted together or not. In case one or two entries have error, it is going to abort the whole operation. So you can see here, we have actually 406 data because the two first is not data. Okay, so remember our database is empty. And now if we execute this code here, it presents here all the generated IDs. It's a code I have set it in the end. And then here you can see the statements that were generated. It was one insert for each of the entries we have in the CSV file. So insert into cars, these columns, and then it, set, it starts to inform the values. Each row is separated by a comma. So here we have all the lines prepared to be imported. And at the end, look what we have. In case we update the select here, we have all the data imported to the MySQL database. And here, our work is done. One of my favorite features of this book create function is the possibility to insert the whole data as one single transaction. It can ensure that the data we have inside the MySQL database is exactly the same we have in the CSV file. There is not the possibility of the problem that just part of the data is imported and maybe a few lines could be lost because they have some incompatibility, some column that has a wrong data type or a missing mandatory H boot. And this missing of stuffs could some kind sometimes cause some problem in production when some kind of report needs to be processed and then we have some kind of inconsistency. So this bug create ensure or we have the whole data or we have nothing. And what you thought about this video? Do you think it's a nice strategy to import data or do you have better options? Please share here your opinions about this demo. Thank you for watching.